It is a gray day in Green Bay, Wisconsin. A city which shouted itself hoarse for the teams of Vince Lombardi today speaks his name in whispered prayers. The sun always shone on Packer Sunday as they called it Lombardi weather. They said the town ran on Lombardi time, 15 minutes ahead of everywhere else. And elsewhere, in an era in which many sought to deify the common man, some of us continued to thrill to the accomplishments of the uncommon ones. Rockney, Leahy, Bud Wilkinson, Bear Bryant, and the incomparable Vince Lombardi. Lombardi had been a law student, you know, and then a teacher of chemistry and Latin. You realize he didn't become a head coach until he was 46, and he died at 57. But in that one decade, he took a team which had won only one game in 1959, made him the best in the league each of five years, and the best in the world, the latter two. The Packers have won no titles since Lombardi. While in Washington, he was leading the befuddled Redskins to their first winning season in 14 years. Let's not profane his grave with imagined qualities. It's quite enough that we enshrine his real ones. Vince Lombardi was no gentle giant. He was a civilian George Patton. There is no way to shoulder your way through the crowd and not give and get some bruises. He'd tell a limping lineman that Packers don't have injuries. And to prove it, send one jogging up and down the grandstand steps of Lambeau Field despite a ripped cartilage that in a few days would require surgery. But the men who played for him, who alternately loved and hated him, would have walked through fire for him. Here was such a leader that he could take grown men, whip them into a fury that forced tears of rage into their eyes, but when, despite their best, they'd had to eat a defeat, he could be most sensitive and almost gentle. But if they'd stumble through to a shoddy victory, if they'd win a game and look bad, Lombardi would chew those men out as if they'd been beaten. The objective was respect for their individual abilities and pride in their team's performance. And in an era of something for nothing, prop up the underdog, pull to punches, wars, for indefinite objectives, Vince Lombardi and his uncompromising determination to be the best could not alone inspire us all, but he made the citizens of one city stand real tall with the kind of unanimous local pride that we used to feel nationally. You'd hear home folks say, I live in Green Bay.